Yeah, Dale Skeeter. Dale, I'm over here at High Crush Operation in Valley Junction, Wisconsin. I just thought I'd take some videos of it so you get some idea what it looks like over here. Our site is about a mile and a quarter up the railroad tracks from this site here. It's Mother's Day, May 14th, and the guys are still working. Looks like they don't quit. I think they're going 24-7 here, Dale. I just thought this might give you some idea about the color of the sand. It's probably what they call Wisconsin white sand. I'm going to stop here now, Dale, and then go on to the other side of the, the location. Yeah, Dale, uh, like I was saying, about three years ago, they just converted this over to a dredging operation here before it was just load and haul it on site with off-road rock trucks. But uh, they've got six inch natural gas pipeline in here. Uh, the dredge will be on, you can see the railroad cars there, Dale. On the other side of that is where the dredging is. Uh, the UP, Rail system, Union Pacific services this area. Uh, I'm gonna go around to the other side, Dale, and get you some idea what that looks like. Yeah, Dale, this is some of the sand that's coming out of there, and then uh, over to the left here, you'll see the silos over there. Behind the silos is the loadout facilities, Dale. Uh, like I say, it's Sunday. I think they're going 24/7. And I heard that they had every ounce of frack sand they could put out sold. So that's probably why they're going pretty hot and heavy at it. Dale, thank you very much. I'm going to take a walk back here, Dale, and go down the railroad tracks here. Uh, well, I'll hang up here a little bit. And then... Yeah, Dale, you can see the silos better over there. On the other side of that, railroad tracks up through there, that's where the dredges operations are. And then uh, they just feed the, the plant over here. The railroad track, Dale, is, I just backed up to it. Uh, this is what they call Valley Junction. If you go on Earth Google, or Google Earth, uh, you can see the, the place we got involved with. It's Six Star Snorkel Family. Uh, just a mile, a mile and a quarter roughly, about a mile down that railroad track. That's where our place is at. So it would be the same vein that's right, right in here, Dale. Just give you some idea what a place looks like. And crazy as it may seem, 500 million years ago when this stuff was all made up, uh, you can go one way or another two, three miles, and you're going to hit hard, hard sandstone, limestone. It's just 500 million years ago, whatever way the rivers and everything flowed, developed this sand the way it is. Talk to you later, Dale. I'm going to go down the road here about five, six miles, and there's another plant down there. This is High Crush, Dale. they got two facilities in Wisconsin. Uh, Uniman is in this area. I believe Preferred Sands is also here, so I'll go down the road here and I'm going to take pictures of that for you. Yeah, Dale, this is about the third time I ever did this video on, but I just pulled around here and got you another shot to what is coming off the conveyor and the, the silos and everything. When it comes off, it's kind of dirty, but then it, when it dries out, it's nice and white. Uh, like I say, friends of mine got this deal here and uh, they do all the construction work on it, so... There's plenty of people around this area to do this stuff. And uh, like I say, the fact that a lot, lot of state work is going on, I think a guy can get stuff done pretty reasonable here. And there are some used wash plants and some other plants, Dale. So talk to you later, Dale. Thank you. Yeah, Dale, anyway, just down the road from Valley Junction, about five, six miles, if you went by the railroad, uh, there's another site here called Smart Sand. Uh, it developed probably eight, ten years ago. Real small. Well, she really grew into something big now. Uh, there again, it's a good white sand. Little bitty town of Oakdale. 
population, probably about 300 people. Uh, basically a farm community. Uh, you can see the sand, and the, one of the big reserves is off here to the right, Dale. Uh, I'll go back and try to get you some better pictures, Dale. But this is about five, six miles, I would say, from High Crush. The name of this place is Smart Sand. Thank you, Dale. Just give you some idea what it looks like here. Yeah, Dale, this is just another shot of it on the east side of it. It'll show you better maybe what the loadout facility is and the silos. Uh, I don't know the reserves they have here, but it's pretty extensive. Okay, I'm going to go up on the other side, Dale, and then get you a shot of that. Thank you. Yeah, Dale, sometimes you got to go into these hills and get the frac sand out. And there's a lot of overbearing. Sometimes you might have to move four feet, six feet, ten feet of overbearing. That costs some money. One thing about that site we got up there, basically, if you got a set of tenor shoes, you could kick the dirt off and you'd be ready to produce frac sand. It's right to the surface. So I'll give you a holler in a little bit, Dale. I'm going to go up on the other side of it now. Yeah, Dale, this would be the other side of it. This uh, farm is what the smart sand folks have bought. Uh, you can see the whiteness of the sand back there. Uh, I'll be darned if they're not working Mother's Day too. I see end loaders and everything running around in the pit. So it's definitely picking up from what it was six, eight months ago. They got all the conveyors back in there. And uh, I'm gonna keep going on around the bend here, Dale, and see what else I can get a picture of it for you. They got some of these high brims here. Uh, makes it a little bit difficult but just see what we can do ah you can see some of it back in there Dale yet stockpiled uh, this is uh, all the rules and regulations the smart sands got I'm going to keep going here Dale Maybe if we both get one of these video cameras, Dale, we could start making movies. What the heck? If this don't work, something else will work, you know. There's another stockpile of that white sand. Getting ready to shuffle it through it, dry it, hydrocyze it. Uh, it's pretty big business in this area, Dale. And like I say, this is probably about six miles from the site that we have. Six or seven miles by rail. Talk to you later, Dale. I'll try to get this video down to you.